my bitches though. Y'all claim you some shooters with pistols, bro. Some OGs, but y'all not original. Alright, so here we go guys. Alright, so we're gonna do the cinematic bars first. Alright, so what you wanna do is I got my video pulled up right here on the timeline. So here's my video. Alright. So if you wanna add the cinematic look, the cinematic bars to your um your video, it's very simple. All you gotta do is Alright, so you wanna add a new track. Here's my track right here, it's empty. So if you don't know how to add a new track, just click. You can go here to insert and click on video track. Video track will add a new track. Since I already have one, we can delete that one. All right. So new track, all right, you're gonna go over to media generators right here. You're gonna click on solid color. You're gonna choose the color white. All right, and drag that on your new track, just like that. Hit the exit button. You're gonna get the end of it and drag it to the end of the video. Drag it over the whole video. All right, I went, I went past it, but it's cool. All right, so cool. Go this way. So you got your white video, right? I mean, I'm sorry, you got your white color right here over the whole video. All right, so you're gonna go to the beginning of the white clip. You're gonna right click it, click on video event pan and crop. No, I'm sorry. Go back, go back, go back. First, before that, you want to click on right here. Composition mode, click on composition mode, go to multiply mask. Boom, all right, the video is back up. Now you want to go to the beginning of the um, the white color and right click it. Right click and go to video event, video event, pan and crop. All right, you got your video. Let's scroll out. All right, so now you got this window pulled up. Now what you want to do is make sure that the aspect ratio is unlocked. So make sure it's unlocked and make sure right here, the axis, make sure it's going up and down. Make sure the arrow is going up and down. Um, that's the Y axis, all right? Now go right here to your video, go to the top middle, click it and drag it down. And as you can see, the cinematic bars are coming. You can make it wide or small as possible. I like to keep mine like Depending on the video, I have different settings or whatever, but this is like the basic right here. I say like right here's the standard. And that's it, man. Hit the exit button. Boom. You got your cinematic bars over the video. Alright, now. To do the flicker effect, let's do that. All right, the flicker effect. This is the flicker effect. This the flicker effect. All right, to do that effect is very, very simple. Let me delete this one right quick and show you. All right, now what you want to do is, so you want to add the flicker effect when the when the hi hats hit in the um in the beat. So right here, you see where it clicks at. So you want to set a marker. So if if you don't know how to set a marker, all you got to do is click to where you want to add the marker and hit M. It's gonna bring a marker, all right. And you're gonna add it to the beginning of the hi hats and the end of it. So you gotta listen. So it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like, it's gonna end like right there or something. Hit M. 
All right, scroll back up to your track where you want to add it. All right, so let's let's just use this one right here. You're gonna put the track in between the markers, so you can cut that. So this is the track that we're gonna use the flicker with. See, right now it's just it's just basic B-roll right now. All right, so click the front of the um, marker. Now you can do it two ways. Now you can hit the right directional pad on your, I'm thinking about the PlayStation. You can hit the right arrow keys on your um, keyboard to go over one frame at a time. Or you can also hit these right here to go over one frame at a time. So I like using my keyboard. So one frame, hit the S button. S. So you're gonna split it each frame until it gets to the end. All right, now it's split in one frame. Let me bring this down a little bit so you can see the um, opacity. All right, so the first clip, I normally lead this up. Second clip, I bring down. Third clip up, so you're gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down until you get to the end. So the fourth one gonna be down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And this is what you got. That's what you got, the flicker. Alright. Now, that's if you want to do it with like another clip going back and forth. You can also do it with the main, with the you know the main clip that you're that you have on the timeline. Let's see, let's bring this back. Let me show you. Real simple. Alright, say so you just want to do it with this clip. Alright, so you just want to do it with that clip. Alright, now this is going to add the little black flashes. Let's see. So you're going to click that. You're going to split it at the beginning. One frame split. Split. Do the exact same thing. Let's bring it down so you can see the opacity. Do the exact same thing. Uh -oh. All right. First one up. Second one down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Check this out. That's what you got. The black flash. So, that's it. You got the cinematic bars. You got the black flashes. And those small effects will make the music video go, or make it look like, you know, that'll add an element to it that's like super dope, I think so. Cause when I learned how to do the black flashes, I was like, oh snap, this may really work. You know, as you get more advanced, you start adding colors to the flashes, or um, I like to do the inverted look sometimes. So just play around with it, man. But these are the basics. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I'm going to have more tutorials coming really soon. I may drop two today. I don't know yet. But thanks for watching again. And I'm out.